This is the ultimate guide to LEGO Fortnite. It will teach you how to craft all the essential items and where to find all the necessary materials to set yourself up to build or adventure wherever you want without having to watch a million separate tutorials. I'm not going to waste your time, let's get right into it. After you've selected LEGO Fortnite as the game mode, you want to go select world so you can begin your own world. And let's go create a new world, create new world slot and pretty much this is all up to you here i recommend leaving everything on so it's going to spawn you into a brand new world where you have absolutely nothing and this is where the tutorial really starts what you're going to do when you first spawn in is just walk around your spawn area and pick up as much wood and as much granite as you possibly can your character is also going to be pretty hungry right away when you spawn in so there's going to be raspberries and pumpkins all around so pick those up and eat them to get your health bar up which you can see in the top left hand corner the only item you can craft when you first begin is the campfire so you only need three wood for that so place that as soon as you can this is going to give you the ability to be able to craft a crafting bench which requires three wood and five granite so go ahead and craft that as soon as you can as well and pretty much with this first crafting bench we're not going to be staying here too long at all if we go to crafting we can craft a forest axe a pickaxe and also a torch we're going to want each one of those we're going to want an axe a pickaxe and also a torch for warmth and some lighting during the night time to get vines all you have to do is just chop down a bush like this and it's going to drop wood and also vines and then i recommend you guys to move on from this area and pretty much find a place that you think would be a good place to build a base you're going to want to find an area like this because this area right here is kind of near a desert biome but it's also in a grassland biome so in the grass lens you don't have to worry about heat or the cold it's also good to be close to a desert biome as there's going to be a lot of stuff we need to do in there a simple shack is always a good first way to start our little village here and it only costs like six wood so we can start building this <laughs> And there's a simple shack complete. It's a good first way to start. And then we can go ahead and put ourselves a crafting table in there. And it gives us shelter. So if it does rain, we can still use our crafting bench. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and put in a bed as this will allow you to set spawn in this area. And finally, the last thing we want to add is the actual village square. So this is going to set up the village and you can just put whatever colors you want here. And then we're going to be able to actually recruit people to the village so there's going to be npcs that come along and villages that come along that you can recruit and we can recruit one with our level one village and to recruit a villager you're just going to have to make sure you have another spare bed to assign to the villager and pretty much just go up to the villager and ask it to join your village now that you know the basics of lego fortnite and you have your little village set up i'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your crafting tables and also how to upgrade your village as upgrading these two things pretty much leads on to to everything else you can do in lego fortnite to get the crafting bench to level two you're going to need eight wooden planks and three shells to get the wooden planks it's pretty easy you just got to go ahead and put down a lumber mill this lumber mill will let you put in wood into the lumber mill and it's going to give you wooden planks in return the second part is the shells to get the shells you need to kill these mobs called rollers rollers are found just they're pretty much everywhere if you walk around the grassland you kill three of these they're going to drop a shell each make sure you have a sword because they are actually pretty deadly and they can kill you really easily so definitely make sure you bring a sword with you and get three shells from these mobs you're gonna then be able to go back over to your bench and upgrade to level two the level two crafting bench is gonna let you craft the uncommon forest axe and the uncommon forest axe is really important to craft what you need for it is three bones which you can get by killing skeletons they spawn during the night time they're relatively easy to kill and also you need three wooden rods which are really easy as well you just go over to your lumber mill and exchange three pieces of wood and you'll get three wooden rods and you can go ahead and craft an uncommon forest axe the level two crafting bench also lets you craft an uncommon pickaxe and the uncommon pickaxe you need three bones to craft and you also need three knot root rods now to get these knot root rods you actually need to go and mine some knot root using an uncommon forest axe and to go get these roots you need to just go into a cave you can find these caves everywhere they are sometimes hard to find but if you go and search an 
enough, you will find one. And inside these caves is gonna be these roots and you can only mine these roots with the uncommon pickaxe or above rarity. So you cannot use just the normal white rarity pickaxe. But you can go ahead and mine these knot roots and bring it back to your lumber mill and craft some knot root rods. To upgrade your village level two, it's really simple. You just need 15 wood and 15 granite. You also need to make sure that your village rating is high enough. And to get your village rating up, you just need to add more items to your village. The fastest way by doing this is adding workstations such as like the lumber mill and crafting tables. That's gonna boost up your village rating. Now it's time for the next crafting bench upgrade. This one is a little bit more tricky. Firstly, we need 12 knot root rods. We already know how to get those. That one's easy. Next up, we need 15 marble slabs. To get these, first of all, we need to mine marble with our uncommon pickaxe. You can find marble in grassland caves. It's not too hard to find. It's pretty abundant everywhere. Then we need to turn this raw marble into marble slabs. To do this, we need to make a stone breaker and it's not too hard to craft. It requires 35 marble and 20 knot roots. Once this is crafted, then we can turn our raw marble into marble slabs by just putting them inside the stone breaker. Next up, we need to find sand claws. To get these, you just have to kill a couple sand wolves. These guys can be found in the desert biome. And lastly, we have, uh, while we're still in the desert biome, you can get some sand shells by just killing a couple of sand rollers. These guys are the same as normal rollers, except they are found in the desert biome. And that's it. Once we've collected all those items, we can upgrade our crafting bench to be able to get rare tools. This upgrade now allows us to create the rare forest axe, which we are going to need to harvest some special materials in the future. So we'll get back to that. But this rare forest axe requires three knot root rods and five cut amber. To obtain cut amber, we firstly need to harvest raw amber and raw amber can be found on the top of hills in the desert biome. It's pretty much everywhere at the top of these hills. Sometimes you might need to build up some stairs there, but anyway, it's not too hard to find at all. To turn this into cut amber, we need to build a gem cutter. You're gonna need some more sand claws, some more sand shells, and some more marble slabs to build this, but this gem cutter will allow us to refine our raw amber into cut amber so we can build our new forest axe. Now we need to use this forest axe, the rare forest axe, to be able to go ahead and create the rare pickaxe. To create the rare pickaxe, you need three sand claws. We already know how to get those, and three flexwood rods. To get flexwood, you need to use your rare pickaxe on the cactuses in the desert biome and when you mine the cactuses they're actually going to give you flex wood and obviously we know if you put the flex wood in the uh, lumber mill you'll be able to get flex wood rods and then we can create our rare pickaxe also let's not forget about upgrading our village it's not actually too hard to upgrade the village like even to level three right now we only need 10 planks and 20 granite it's not too bad at all and the reason why we want to keep upgrading our village is because of the village perks that you get and as you upgrade your village you can obviously add more villages. Villages can even give you gifts sometimes, so they might be able to give you extra granite, extra resources. Um, villages can be asked to cook, extract seeds, tend dirt plots. They can do so much more stuff. This one's really cool as well. At level 5, villages gain bonus health and defense, which is really cool. Getting more villages, and it goes all the way up till level 10. Now we are on the final crafting bench upgrade, and this one is a bit of a grind. It's quite tough to do, and there's a lot to go through here. So we're going to be spending a lot of time in desert caves which are extremely hot and you just lose so much health so i recommend making a juicer which isn't too hard to craft at all um, which allows you to craft snowberry shakes now these snowberry shakes give you 10 minutes of increased heat resistance and require two snowberries which you find all over the snow biomes and then uh, one milk which you just get by petting cows so it's not too bad but this 10 minutes of increased heat resistance is going to be very clutch so to upgrade this epic crafting bench you need 20 25 obsidian slabs to begin. To mine obsidian, you just got to be in a desert cave. It's an almost dark purple stone and you need a rare pickaxe to be able to mine it. Then you just put your raw obsidian into a stone breaker and it makes obsidian slabs. Then next we need 15 copper bars. Copper you also find in desert caves. It's like a brownish material and you need once again a rare pickaxe to mine it. And then you need to craft a metal smelter which requires 15 bright core. Bright core you also find in the desert caves. It's pretty easy. It's always 
um, usually around the lava, and 35 obsidian slabs and three blast cores. You get blast cores from lava rollers. They're also in desert caves. They can make sure they don't blow you up because they're very deadly. And then the final thing we need is probably the hardest one, and this is one brute scale. You must take down one of the boss mobs, one of the brutes. These guys are pretty tricky. I recommend you guys to take a crossbow with a lot of arrows, probably at least 30. And also make sure you have adequate healing and have learned how to dodge pretty well because the dodging is the biggest part of this. But anyway, once you get all this done, you'll be able to finally go ahead and get the final crafting bench upgrade and get epic tools, which are very, very open. At this point, the ultimate guard has covered almost all of the essential things, and we know how to get every material needed to get our village to level 10. So these are the requirements for the rest of the village upgrades. Keep upgrading your village whenever you can, and do it at your own pace, of course, but these are the rest of the upgrades. So to get level 4, you need 10 knot root, 15 planks, 25 granite, not too bad at all. Level 5, you need 15 knot root, 20 planks, 15 marble. Level 6, you need 20 knot root and 30 granite slabs. Level 7, you need 20 knot root rods and 20 marble slabs. Level 8, you need 30 marble slabs and 10 rough amber. Level 9, you need 15 flex wood, 15 obsidian, and 10 cut amber. And level 10, you need 15 flex wood rods. 30 obsidian slabs and 20 cut amber and just like that that's going to conclude the ultimate guide i hope it offered you guys some insight and it gave you more of an understanding into the game and if it did make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot but thanks a lot guys i'll see you in the next one peace out